Today on the network, we tell you what your cowboy main match rifle says about you. That and more. Stay tuned. Good evening, cowboys, cowgirls, and outlaws. Welcome to the Slick Six Guns Network. I'm your host, Slick Six Guns, and I'm here to provide education, tips, and community for those interested in the Western shooting sports. If you're interested in stuff like that, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notifications bell so you don't miss anything. Also, in the description section is a link to our Patreon account if you feel like supporting us. Don't forget to buy me a coffee as well. Now let's pack our wagons and see what's being discovered out west. First up, the Winchester 1873. Ah yes, that famous old saying of how the gun that won the west never seemed more true than when you got your hands on this piece of Americana. That is until you find out that you fell for the biggest marketing ploy of the 19th century. If you chose this as your main match rifle, you think that you're going to be the next champion at End of Trail, yet you never find time to practice enough. You have all the money in the world to spend on aftermarkets and upgrades that you would even put the most avid user of the AR-15 to shame. You only have two speeds, fast and faster. You are that person that mock runs every stage because you can't keep an actual round count in your head to save your life. Accuracy? What's that? Zeroing a rifle? No need as long as everything is race ready out of the box. Fast cars, fast women, fast men, fast food, and of course, fast times are what you live by. Next up is the Winchester 1866. Ah, the good old 1866. If this is your main match rifle, you are part of that generation that your parents just cared enough that you actually came home for dinner that night in one piece. Out of battery discharges don't scare you. In fact, you think it actually adds character to those charred whiskers that are sizzling from those black powder burns. Your eyebrows are barely intact. Forget gunsmithing, just buy a parts gun and you are good to go. Bright and shiny objects appeal to you. Except, just when you slightly over polish that receiver, just enough to where it obscures your vision and you can't actually hit the target. Good job, bravo, bravo. You can never make up your mind whether you wanna join the speed demons or whether you wanna go for that more historic look. You think you are in the purest ranks of the sport, yet you can't seem to keep your rifle clean worth a darn because you're afraid to scratch the brass or strip the screws. Next up, wait for it, you guessed it, that Winchester 1892. Well, howdy, Pilgrim. If this is your main match rifle of choice, you have seen way too many John Wayne movies. And you remark to anyone proudly that anything that John Browning created was the epitome of firearms technology. This rifle tells me that you're a person that doesn't deal in extremes. Competition to you does not matter. Historical accuracy is only met if it's within your budget. And sometimes you just want to find a good conversation without being in the limelight. Be Western is a category that you would love to master but God forbid if anyone ever tells you that your Buscadero rig is not historically accurate. And now let's get to some more rare main match rifles that you may see on the range. The Colt Lightning Rifle. If this is your main match rifle, you are officially a Colt snob. If it has the name Colt in it, you are buying it. You think you are more unique than everyone else, especially when you show up to the range with a brace of Colt single action armies strapped to your hips. You think that the slide action is the best thing since sliced bread. Never mind the feeding issues. If it looks classy, it's worth it. You don't care how much money you spend on the sport, you feel that in order to be good, you have to have a well-rounded collection of firearms. That is, until your significant other finds out. Authenticity is everything to you, especially if you can produce a letter from the manufacturer that states the last outlaw that was able to possess your firearm. Next up, the Spencer Carbine. The Horizontal Shot Tower. Favored by Lincoln, Custer, and unfortunately you. You are terrible at math because you forget every time to load three extra rounds into the magazine because 10 rounds are required for a stage. You believe in making every shot count because you will be the slowest shooter on the range that day. Good thing you have hearing protection. 
Because God forbid you hear that anyone tells you about how they are about to miss their afternoon nap because you are the slowest person out there. You are the person that has no finesse because you feel that as long as you beat a problem into submission, you have officially solved it. Style points are what you strive for because you won't win anything else at the range. You love attention and are ready at a moment's notice to give everybody your historical opinion on yourself and that rifle you have even if they are running as fast as they can in the opposite direction. Oh, and you most likely reload because you are so glad that an obsolete cartridge has seen the light of day again. Next up, you guessed it, the 1860 Henry Rifle. Ah, the rifle that showed up just in time for the American Civil War. If this is your main match rifle, you show up just in time for everything else in your life. Weddings, anniversaries, birthdays, you may even show up fashionably late just once in a while. You get burned often, both in real life and at matches. You are the masochist of your club, because God forbid you have to put on a glove once in a while. You believe you are a man's man holding a man's rifle, only to see you curse like a teenager when you forget to do the Henry Hop and possibly end up with a minor safety after your stage. You are proud to admit that without your design, the other main match rifles would not exist. Yet, you are pretty stubborn because all the other main match rifles are actually better than yours. And you won't admit it. Next up, the Marlin 1894. Congratulations, you are the Honda Civic of the cowboy action community. It just works and runs for as long as you need it to. And everything about it seems just right. You are the unsung hero that is never talked about, yet admired from afar. You are the utilitarian type that waits for that sale to just get the right tool for the right job. You aren't a fan of gunsmiths, as you feel you can do everything by yourself. Seriously, just ask your significant other why the horn is connected to your brake in your family vehicle. Never mind that your rifle has checkering, you'll sweat through any match no matter what rifle you possess. And last but not least, the Henry Big Boy. You are a budget cowboy, the new kid on the block, the rising star, the just as gooder of cowboy action. You will be soon spending a load of money just to replace all the gear that you just bought. You bought this rifle because you saw it on the cover of Henry Repeating Arms magazine and thought that it would meet your needs. Just like everything else in your life, it is just as good. Historically accurate, just as good. Slick action, just as good. Goes well with my costume, just as good. Rules don't apply to you as reading them requires too much effort. And if they were really that important, someone would have told you in the first place. 